So let's take a look at shapes in Google Draw and Google Slides. Both work the same. First thing we need to do is insert shapes. And you'll notice that there is a shape button on the menu, on the toolbar. But there's also a way to do it under the insert menu. You can insert shape and slide over that way. Let's take a look at what we can do with shapes. There's four categories of shapes. First one is just kind of the plain uh, shapes that you would recognize and then some special little shapes here and then a whole bunch of flow charting shapes which are pretty standard. We also have several different uh, types of arrows that you can use. We have callouts where you have stars and banners and speech bubbles and then math equation type uh, shapes that you might want to use. So let's just go up and we'll pick one of the standard shapes but something that we can work with. Let's use this one which is a snip diagonal corner rectangle. And notice I click it, whoops, nothing happened except that the cursor turns into a crosshair. And that just means we can stretch our shape out as big as we want it. Now when we op uh, create a shape and when it's selected, there's quite a few things on here that we can work with. One is we have the square handles on the side of each, uh, uh, on each side of the shape. And we can use those to shrink uh, the shape or stretch it. Remember in the, in the corners, we always pull in the diagonal. And we can stretch two ways on the edges. We can just stretch one way. You'll also notice as we go around, let me pull this down so you can see it a little bit better, that there's a line with a dot on it. And when I roll across the dot, top of that dot, I get the crosshair again. Now that is for rotating the shape. And you'll notice it has the angle that we're rotating as we go around. So you can be pretty accurate with that if you want to. Uh, on that. So if we want to run that to a 30 degree angle, we can do that. And you math people might start thinking immediately of what you could do with that. Let's go back and straighten it out. Um, you'll also notice that there's yellow uh, diamond handles. And depending on what shape you use, sometimes you might see four or five of these. But what those are for are to reshape uh, the different sizes of the snippet on the edge. And again, if you're on an arrow, it'll reshape the arrowhead and do some things. Now, in this one, we could actually turn it in that way, too, because we've got to snip it both ways. So there's a lot of options that you could do on this one as you use those little arrows like that. Let's pull that back where it was and go back there. So now we have a shape like that. And the other things are pretty standard. We can come up and we can fill it with a different color if we want to. We can pick a custom color, uh, like maybe a blue like that. We can come in and we can create a border. We can set the size of that border. We can even, again, as with usual, we can have dash lines. We can do all sorts of things with the border that we want to. So there's shapes. Now, the other thing that you can do with any shape is double click in that shape and put text in it. So I'm going to pop on top of the shape, double click, and now I can add text into any shape as well. Every single shape can have text in it. And again, if I rotate that, the text rotates with the shape. So that's a pretty flexible little tool that you need to keep in mind if you really want to bring uh, some text out on the screen and make it stand out. Sh create your shape, double click in it, and put your text. And just like anything else, I can do as much as I want to with that text to uh, change it and make it look good on the screen. So those are shapes. Again, click on the shape, pick your shape, draw out the shape you want, and have fun with that shape.